all right welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan today we're going to be wrapping up our court of stars series in sumar on the broken isles and the legion expansion today i am very excited and uh, we're going to be finishing up the series i'm you know i'm a little sad just because um this has been a really fun i don't know why it's not letting me mount up by the way just kind of annoying the crap out of me um let's go see if we can get on land over here real quick trying not to get back in the dungeon though um <laughs> yeah thank you guys for joining me in this series it's been a lot of fun it's been a part you know a uh four part series here that i've had a lot of fun making wow that's really odd look at that it's not letting us mount up at all which is very strange what the heck um i don't know what's going on hold on i'm gonna log out what the f why is it look at that boat just going through all the rocks <laughs> That's weird. Okay, well, I guess right now we're on foot for the moment. Um, really, really weird. Like, it's just... Why is it... Oh, that's why. Ah, ha, ha, my flying style. There we go, yep. You can't dragon ride or whatever it's called inside of uh, Out of Bounds. So you have to do normal flying, as you would say. And what's really creepy is the music went off. Can we turn the audio back on? Uh, music's on, so I don't know. It's maybe because we left the Court of Stars? Okay, well, guys, let's just go take a look around. I'm excited. So today, as you can see, they got these, like, really low-poly textured models out here of, like, the force field uh, protectors or whatever you call them. I don't know what they're actually called, but it's kind of funny seeing those. They're not, like, rendered back here, which is really kind of funny. They're just, like... Un untextured modeled uh saying untextured for you guys uh, untextured models of these things i don't know what you call them exactly but you know i'm really annoyed right now that we don't have music <laughs> it's really strange i don't know what's going on with my game as we come back here also and we make our way into the broken shore you can get a mountain that is on the back side here and look at everything look at it's like everything's missing back here look at that isn't that strange you get like this open view of the rock. Can we go in here? We can. So there's just a bunch of mountains missing. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got our music back. Ah, oh, thank God. I was like, I hate just walking around with just silence. Because then I feel like I really got to entertain you all. Or I'm like, my next trick. Juggling. <laughs> you know, or something. So, uh, not that I don't love doing commentary. Because that's what I do the whole time. But, uh, just... I'm glad the music came back, so... Alright, let's get on our cool hoverboard. And let's keep going out this way. And let's go see what they keep... Ooh, I almost walked off the edge there. Let's go see what they keep on the broken shore here. Um, I don't know if they keep the full model tomb out here. I'm assuming they do. Now, in our... In the previous... Fi That's weird. Look at that. Just like floating goo. You guys see that? Oh! Okay, we don't want to swim in the water, by the way, because we'll DC. Or in the... The, uh... What do we call that stuff? The fell lava, I guess you could say. So we got to be careful what we're doing out here. But let's go see what they keep uh, with the Tomb of Salgaris. And it, and it looks like they do keep the raid entrance. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. This wasn't uh, my favorite series to do. It was really neat to get into the class order halls, like the Hunter and the Druid. But, you know, I was really kind of disappointed that uh, there wasn't a lot more out here that i thought blizzard would be hiding um especially with maybe like empty test models or other npcs or i don't know i just thought they would have been hiding a lot more out here so i was kind of disappointed on that side of things uh that's you know that was just yeah, it was just disappointing so i thought there was going to be a lot more to show you guys and now here goes the entrance to the cathedral of eternal night can't go in there which really sucks that would have been fun uh, but as you guys can tell, they do keep the whole tomb here. Now, for those of you that uh, participated in the transmog contest, I really want to say thank you. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time. I know it wasn't as super organized as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. It happens. You know, not everything can be perfect, you know. Now, this is interesting. They do keep the Death Knight uh, station out here. As you can see in the distance there. Unfortunately, we can't actually get in there. I would love to, because normally you'd be teleported as a demon hunter outside. If you're not a death knight. So that kind of sucks. 
But as you guys can see, it's just a normal broken shore out here. Nothing really too special hiding. So let's actually go head out this way. And uh, let's go take a look and see if they do hide anything way out here. This is what I'm saying. I just, I just was, uh, it's like, don't get me wrong. I think this OOB has been a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's been really cool that we've been able to explore all of the Broken Isles outside of a dungeon. Um, so that's just really awesome. And so being able to explore a whole, a whole expansion map without getting interrupted from like enemies and stuff has been fantastic. And so I am thankful for that. Uh, I just wish that we would have been able to, you know, see a little more outside the OOB than we got to see. I know it sounds really picky because <laughs> it's like, Nathan, you got a whole expansion map to explore empty. And it's like, yeah, but you can just go see that normally. You know, uh, when I do OOB, obviously I'm here to see everything, but it is nice to get little like Easter eggs outside the map, I guess you could say. Like um, test them, test model NPCs and stuff like that. All right, so far, nothing too much and nothing too much that is different out this way let's go head out this way and let's go start heading over to the eye of ashar Ooh, man i almost keep falling into these ditches um let's go take a look at deliverance point real quick and how much they actually keep up here and i'm assuming they keep most of all of it i mean why wouldn't they they've already kept most of everything else so you can see they do keep the whole base encampment here and let's actually go ahead up here and you can see the flight path look at the floating jars going on here that's strange you can see the Alliance and the Horde ships are crashed out there, so they do keep those. All right, let's go head over to the Eye of Ashara. And let's start making our way down there. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to get off our mountain and start flying. That would be easier. Um, instead of trying to make our way all the way down the mountains and all that. We can go make our way over to the Eye of Ashara. And then what we can do is wrap all the way around over to Suamar. And go check out the remaining area and then get up to the very highest hill in um high mountain and we're gonna try to glide over to dollaran so let's uh make our way out this way and while we do this um i'm gonna meet you guys back over in eye of ashara so i will be right back so you guys don't have to watch me glide across the water and be boring so give me one second all right guys we are back in the eye of ashar we just got here and if you're wondering if back there is their fatigue there is not i did not run into any fatigue so you should be able to freely explore out in the water and this ob which is really nice uh so have at it <laughs> um as we're making our way through the eye of ashar i'm gonna have a little story time real quick for you guys kind of a really funny story that i have told before on the channel but i'll tell it again when i was playing the legion expansion <laughs> i stole a mount from a guild or a bunch of a group of people um, i don't i don't know who they were i don't know you know the names of them or what they did i just know they were horde players so one day i was flying around on the broken isles and i saw the mount was spawned and the one I'm talking about is the water mount that you get. The Fathom Dweller. Uh, from Kasumath the Hungry. Hunger, hungering. Now this mount was on the map. It was. It said, hey, the mount's here. You can go grab it after you kill the boss. So I'm like, oh, sweet, you know. But I was thinking in my head, well, this mount is already going to be gone. There's no way that we're going to be able to get this mount if I come over here. <laughs> Well, lo and behold, I was flying around and I'm like, all right, let's go head over there quickly. I arrive on the island, the Eye of Ashara. As I get here and I land, and as you guys know, the mount, the uh, boss is like right here in the middle of the map right there. That's his little spawn area. Um, the person, the boss had spawned. And as I landed, there was a bunch of horde, like a ton of horde characters just sitting around the boss. They were neutral. Um, I couldn't attack them and they couldn't attack me, thank God. But um, they, I don't know if they were waiting for a friend, if they were a guild and waiting for everyone to get there so they could kill the boss. I don't know, but they were just sitting there. And so I'm like, I'm not going to sit here and wait and waste this opportunity. So I start attacking the boss. The moment I did that, they panic. They start attacking the boss too. As we got done killing the boss, a bunch of horde players showed up, like 20 or 30 people. <laughs> I 
uh, let's just say I don't think they were very happy with me that day. But still to this day, I got them out and, well, sucks to be Horde, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. So lesson learned, Horde. Don't play on the Horde. Be Alliance. Or Nathan's going to come take your mounts from you. Um, but I always laugh at that story because uh, I stole some mounts from a guild that they were probably waiting for other people to get there. But, oh well. You know, would they have waited for me to get there? Probably no, absolutely not. They were going to take them out for themselves. So I'm like, I got to grab them out. Um, but I don't know. I just always thought that was kind of a funny story. Now, here's actually the entrance to the Eye of Ashar raid or uh, dungeon, I should say. Uh, right, dungeon. Yeah, I have a shower. Okay. Want to make sure. I was trying to remember. Um, but here's the actual dungeon uh, entrance. So the portal, as you can see, is not here. Sometimes they do keep portals outside of maps, but I love telling that story when I come over here. I told that story one other time, but um, I just thought that was really funny. So getting back to the OOB, um, I thought. You know, you can see that everything still is intact. So Blizzard basically keeps everything outside of the OOB of this map, which is really awesome because then you get to go explore everything you want to explore. You don't have to be interrupted by other people or by enemies in the game. And you can just go take a look at things. Now, guys, we're only, you know, one third of this video done. We still have all Sumar to do. I got to make my way back up to High Mountain because we're going to try to go glide into Dalaran. And I think I might actually be able to glide in there because I have an idea what I want to do. It's a pretty long freaking glide. So we might not actually make it, but it should be fun. You guys get a good view of I have a Shara up here. I hope I'm saying that right, the I have a Shara. So all the Lord nerds on the channel, if you could tell me if I'm saying it correctly or not, I would love to know. We can get an awesome Batman glide going down here. And that is the Eye of Ashar, guys. I mean, the cave is open over there as well, so you can walk in the caves, which I really loved about this OB, because a lot of times caves can be very um, tricky. They can either be open, or they, you can get stuck in them, or they're just like a wall or something blocking them and you can't actually go inside of them. So it's really awesome that you're able to walk in all the caves on the OB of this. Now, something really funny out here in the great sea, you, if you guys hear that music, that is actually the music from um, Bashir, the underwater zone and cataclysm, which I thought was kind of funny that that plays out here. Which is awesome because I love Vashir. Everybody hated Vashir, but I love Vashir. It's one of my favorite zones in the game. I just love the Cataclysm expansion. Uh, my favorite expansion, as you guys know. <laughs> I had a great time. A lot of good memories playing that expansion. That was when I really, really started really getting into World of Warcraft. So it was just a special expansion memory for me. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go head over into Suomar. And I will be right back as I cross this ocean. So give me one second. 